case when you've just won the European Cup. Is this a fixture that you are excited and relishing rather than daunting when you come to the, the best team in the world? Yeah, look, it's um, it's the games that you want to play in when you you know when you get the honour to play for your country, then you want to play against the best teams and uh, you know and try and try your best against them. Of course, I'm a wee bit more used to playing against these players. You know, a lot of them are in the Premier League and. Some of the lads aren't, but um, you know it's one that we have to be, you know, excited about coming to, you know, an old-fashioned stadium, but a good one and playing against a fantastic team. So it's something that we need to look forward to and try and use that, and um, you know, to give us a wee bit extra confidence and uh, and things like that, and um, you know, and hope that um, we can be a hundred percent tomorrow night and um, you know see where it takes us. Does that familiarity that you mentioned for you personally help, and do you try and pass that on to your teammates? <laughs> I wouldn't say you know. Um, I suppose I'm, I'm used to a wee bit more playing against them, and maybe I know a couple of their tricks, but I certainly don't know all of them. And that's um, you know that's what I've got to be wary of. But um, in terms of lads that have never played against them, then yeah, of course the lads that you know are playing in the Premier League, then we can give them you know a wee bit of you know experience and things like that, and hopefully the hopefully the lads use it. But look, they play against big teams all the time, and they play in big games, so they're well used to it. And um, you know, we hopefully use that experience wisely tomorrow night. Things have changed since September, but what do you think the team has learned from when they last played Belgium? I think we've learned a lot. I think we've developed a lot as a squad. Um, it was a relatively new squad then. Um, a lot of changes. Um, and now we've probably had, what, eight months or ten months or whatever it is to, you know, together. So, you know, we've bonded over that time. We know what each other can do more and we know how to play each other a lot better. So... We've learned from the games. Um, we made, you know, disastrous mistakes that game, and and that's what that's what we need to cut out. That's the ones that um, you know killed us that night, and you know we need to learn from them. We need to be a lot more streetwise, and um, you know, and try and frustrate them. And the longer it goes, then you know, hopefully that happens, and you know, we grow confidence in the game. Some will reckon this is a free hit for Scotland because of the opposition, but what's the feeling amongst the team? I can't ask, you know, I can't answer that for the other lads, but, you know, I don't really believe in free hits, if I'm honest. Um, you know, we're all fighting in this group for, um, you know, for the places that we need to get to, to the, the Euros. So there's no such thing as free hits. Of course, Belgium are, you know, seeded to the, the pot one, and um, we know it's going to be the toughest game, especially away from home. But, you know, we have to come over here and believe that we can try and get something because... If we can, then it puts us, and you know, I think a lot of people back in Scotland will look a lot differently on the table. We've already got a big result against Cyprus and, and put us in a better position, um, and it's a lot nicer viewing. But you know, if we can get something tomorrow night, then you know, I'm sure the Scots fans can can look at the group and you know, really be optimistic about what can happen. You mentioned the group, Andy, and we obviously know what what taking something would do in terms of the points. I wonder what it would do psychologically for this group to get something against a team like Belgium. Yeah, um, you know, we've not had a big result probably since England. Um, and even then it was a disappointment because of the late goal. But, um, you know, since then the big nations have turned us over, really, if we're being honest. So we need to try and, um, you know, we need to try and make ourselves hard to beat against the top nations again. Um, you know, when I first came into the squad, the top nations didn't like playing against us and, you know, they might have got the results, but they know they had to work for it and that's what we need to get back to. If Belgium play to their best, then, um, and, you know, take their chances, whatever, then, you know, most likely they'll beat us, but we need to make it hard to beat and we need to make, we need to make them work for their three points and, you know, if we can frustrate them and maybe things aren't going their way, then that's when we build on our confidence and we have, you know, people in the park that can that can cause them problems as well and you just never know, you know, if we need to be, you know, we need to be crucial in front of goal, we need to take our chances if we get them and, um, you know, if we do then, um, you know, you never know if we get a lead to defend and I believe we can do it. So that's what we need to look forward to but like I said, we need to make it, we need to make ourselves hard to beat against these top nations again. Yeah, yeah, because going back historically, there's always been a feeling, hasn't there, that Scotland played better against the bigger nations. I don't know if that was an underdogs thing or something. Maybe it's a case of trying to find that again. Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, when I was growing up, it was probably the smaller nations that we most struggled against. You know, I grew up when you know we were beating the likes of France and giving Italy and things like that a very good game and. 
you know, we've not really done that over the last couple of years. I think, you know, we gave Germany a good game away from home um, when Ketch scored that goal. And, you know, I think everyone believed that we could have went on to, you know, get something then, but obviously it wasn't meant to be. But, you know, these are the games that we need to look back on and try and, you know, recreate because, like you said, I think, the, you know, the bigger nations were always not, I wouldn't say they feared us as such, but they knew what we could do. And now I think it's too easy for them. So, you know, we need to change that. We need to change that mentality and believe that we can get stuff off these big teams. And, you know, what better way to do it than tomorrow night? Is there a feeling within the group that this group itself is due a big result? Yeah, I would say so. Um, we have the quality in the squad that can you know, cause big teams problems. Um, and that's what we believe. You know, we're we're a good squad that has got an abundance of ability. Um, but it's about us trying to show it and especially showing it on the big stage. Um, and that's what we need to try and do. So, look, we don't deserve anything. But, you know, we need to show what we deserve. And the only way we can do that is on the pitch. And, um, you know, hopefully we do that tomorrow night. And, and if we can get a big result, then, you know, I'm sure it will put Scotland, you know, back in this group first and foremost, but also kind of back on the map in terms of football. Yeah, of course. Like we need to, we need to believe in that. And um, you know, of course, realistically, for us to get a result, Belgium need to have an off day. That's you know, that's the nature of it. They're you know a far better squad and um, you know things like that. But like I said, we have quality. And you know, if they aren't at a hundred percent, then we believe we can take advantage of that. And if they are, then we believe that we can try and frustrate them. We might need a big performance from the goalkeeper and the defence and things like that. But we believe that we can still you know make that happen. So. You know, of course, they look, they're full of confidence. They're, you know, this country is on a massive high in terms of what they've done in the last, you know, couple of years and how far they went in the World Cup and the, the, the players that they have in their squad. But, you know, this is, you know, what we need to, you know, we, what we need to aim for. We need to start somewhere and we need to try and, um, you know, get results. And, um, you know, the next one in front of us, this one, we know how tough a task it's going to be. But we believe we can cause any team problems, but it's all about us trying to show that now. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, obviously a lot of speculation about him and, you know, I'm sure he'll be delighted that it's over the line and he's he's done it. So, you know, he's probably the best player I've come up against um, on his day in terms of in the Premier League and, um, you know, he deserves his move and, you know, he deserves all the plaudits he gets. So, like a fantastic player, a world-class player and, you know, probably one of the best at the minute in the world. So, um, fair play to him for his move. But, you know, we need to, it all comes back to showing them respect in terms of the ability, but trying to not show them too much respect that we feed them. And that's what we need to do. We need to we need to try and defend them out of the game. We know how tough that's going to be, but, you know, we need to try. And, um, you know, if we can co maybe make them into a couple of mistakes, then, you know, hopefully that, um, you know, gives us confidence to defend against them. But, you know, we know he can win a game in split seconds, so we need to be 100% at all times and switched on because we know him and, a couple others are world-class players that um, you know can hurt you when you do switch off.